Hello YouTube, it's Anders back here on Watch On channel and again a watch review for you guys and today a brand that I covered, maybe it was a year ago I covered this brand which is a German sounding brand but I definitely believe that these watches are made in, in China or in Asia. Uh, but it's a very interesting brand because you see this brand uh, on eBay and on Amazon and you see them at very very affordable prices. And the first one, and I will leave a link down below and also a card up in the right corner so you can see this review was a quartz dive watch with a GMT function. And I really think it was a very interesting and, and kind of cool watch at a very affordable price. You get both the water resistance, you get the accuracy of the quartz, and you also got the GMT function, which was, which was very nice. But today, so we're moving into the automatic range of the Tauchmeister. Uh, Tauchmeister, as I, as I said, is a German brand, but I believe these watches are not made in Germany, of course, because then they would be much more expensive. So this particular watch is the Tauchmeister automatic dive watch with the reference, reference number T0303. And this is an automatic dive watch. It comes on a rubber strap or it comes on this Milanese mesh strap. And I really think you get a nice package here. So Tauchmeister means master diver or diving master in German. And they do these big chunky dive watches, a lot of different dive watches, but also these very big sports watches. So it's definitely a, a watch brand into the more masculine, big chunky watches. And this particular watch I actually had lying around for more than a year in my watch, watch uh, case, but I really didn't get to review it and now I thought it was time to review it and all in all it's a pretty enjoyable watch in my opinion so I see this watch at around 150 to 200 US dollars on eBay and Amazon and also saw it on Long Island watches which I don't have any affiliation with I just saw it there and they sell it for uh, 189 US dollars so all in all a pretty nice package in my opinion for for what you you're getting so Unfortunately, my caliber died, but you can still measure uh, the watch with the caliber without any battery. So it's 43 millimeters in diameter, including the crown. It's about 46 to 47. The thickness is 14 millimeters. The lock width is 20. And from lock to lock, you get just short of 50 or just around 50, 50 millimeters in from lock to lock. So all in all, a pretty big and and chunky watch, but still a watch that will be able to fit a lot of wrist sizes. So the Tauchmeister employs the Myota 8215 automatic, automatic movement. So this movement, and it's a screw down crown. It comes with, with hacking. Sorry, without hacking, as you can see, the second hand keeps on moving. But that's pretty much something I can live with when buying such an affordable watch. What I, what really would annoy me if, would be if you didn't have manual windings, you just have to shake the watch, like you know with the Seiko SKX007 and 009. But this is actually with hand winding, which I enjoy a lot. So you get a typical dive watch style layout with the let me just screw down out the crown again so you can see the writings here. So pretty cool Taufmeister logo, as you can see here, Taufmeister 1937. So they say they started the company in 1937. And let's just wait until the lollipop second hand moves away. Automatic 21 duels and water assistant. So screw down crown, unsigned. And I really actually enjoy the tool-like feeling and look of this Tauchmeister watch, this dive watch. It's sandblasted stainless steel, 316L stainless steel. And everything, <coughs> everything sorry, is just very, very 
utilitarian and very, very tool watch like. You don't really get a lot of fine details with polishing and stuff like that. Everything just tells you this is a tool watch. So typical bezel insert layout as well, as you can see here. The water resistance is 200 meters, which is pretty nice. I don't believe this is in any way ISO certified, but still a 200 meter water resistance is, is very, very nice in, in my opinion. So the bezel insert uh, is very easy to turn, but I would believe that if you are wearing a dive watch glove, uh, sorry, a dive glove, diving suit glove, then you will would have a hard time grabbing this because you only get these etchings in here. As you can see, you don't get any coin etching, so it's it's pretty hard to turn, but I would say the action is very, very nice. It makes a nice sound. Just listen. Actually, for watching this price range, I actually enjoy the best action. Almost no play whatsoever. Very, very easy to turn. And everything aligns up perfectly so you don't even get that this kind of alignment accurate alignment with Seiko watches of 500 to 1000 US dollars Seiko are horrible at the quality control but with this Taufmeister they actually managed the, the German company so case back here 220 uh, bar which is 200 meters Taufmeister 1937 stainless steel the reference number Germany water resistance screw down case back Everything very, very nicely done, in my opinion. I think that the bezel insert reminds me a little about of the, the Tudor Pelagos. Uh, and the dial layout is much more in, in the Seiko vein, in my opinion. Big, chunky loom dots. So the hands are filled with loom, as well as all the hour markings here are loomed. Let me just pull up a loom shot. So, super amazing loom on this watch. I'm not sure what kind of luminous material they have used. But I must say, it's very, very impressive. Very impressive for a dive watch of this price range to have such nice loom. And that is just a complete essential part of a dive watch, in my opinion, that you have this amazing loom. So I generally just really enjoy this watch. I think it's a pretty cool beater watch and I really like the Milanese bracelet. Let me try to put it on my wrist. So this is how the buckle looks. It's very, very easy to adjust and the spare part of the Milanese bracelet just fits under here and it wears very comfortable, very tool-like look. So you get the Taufmeister logo with the old school diving helmet here and then this closes down here. So you push it down and then you get this extra security. Um, it, it looks good and it feels okay, but I'm not completely sure if this wouldn't open at some point but still i think this watch 43 millimeter dive watch looks great on my wrist i really just enjoy how simple and tool like it is it's a definitely a no fuss watch so my biggest gripe with this watch it's actually the second hand because look at how it's completely black and it doesn't hit the second markings or the minute markings on the outer part of the dial so you you don't really see the second hand unless it moves over the hour our markings as you can see here now it comes down there at six o'clock just look now so i think they should really have opted to do a, a different color uh, at least paint the point of the second hand with some luminous material but all in all a very fun watch a watch that i enjoy and if you're looking for a an interesting dive watch from a brand we don't really see that often i would definitely recommend this Taufmeister, the price is definitely right for this watch. So I hope you enjoyed this review of a watch brand we don't see too often. The Taufmeister T0303. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this review. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You will find the links down below. Also leave a comment down below. Can you recommend any other kind of dive watches or watch brands that we 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 should get into but we don't really know in the watch community that much oh and i forgot to say it's mineral glass so no no sapphire of course yes just remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you very soon thank you bye